Guys, this is something that you hardly see or hear. Good morning guys, we are back at Ohana Pasiris this morning. We have the D. Yeah. And we have Kenji. Hello. And myself. Today is another episode of Yak Attack Reloaded episode. Nah, we don't say episode lah. So today Don, where are we going? Uh, we are going over to Ubin. Um, to the side. Yeah. That side. Yeah, you can't say exactly where, right? Oh, that, <laughs> oh. Sorry, I can't tell you the spot. Oh, <laughs> that side, <laughs> right now. So, uh, you know, the trip almost got caught off because of very bad weather last night. This morning didn't look really good. But nonetheless, we are here. We're going to go out and try for a couple hours. Head back in by 11.30, right? Yeah, then, right? about 11.30. Yeah. great because we are going to catch um, mullet. Mullet. Yeah, use bait for mullet. Yeah. No, no big fish today, but that's mullet. So anyway, Don's kayak, native slayer. Here we have the marina in orange and the camo. And we have Kenji preparing his rig. I'm gonna prepare my stuff and hopefully gonna catch a couple of fishes. So till then, guys. See you. Bye bye. Hi guys. So yes, before we left, a fellow kayaker by the name of Joe came up to us and spoke to us. We saw his kayak was super unique, okay, super unique. So Don inquired uh, where he got it and the answer was he actually built it himself from a, a kit that he bought. So I'm going to show you his kayak that he built himself from scratch through a kit that he bought. So here we go man. Pretty awesome kayak. You name it yourself one lah, August Rush. Yeah, correct. Right. Right. My nice finishing. Oh. Very nice, very nice. Average we take about two and a half hours to get out of here. That's very fast. Sir. Yeah. But That's it's really very slick, you know. It's Thank really you so much, Joe. You're okay, welcome. <laughs> wow. So, hi guys. So, <laughs> I'm on a DIY. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you have? No. Net. Net. Alright guys, so <laughs> this is why we don't want to have net. Yeah man, it's a uh, net. Yeah, it's a Oh, that's quite scary though. <laughs> Suddenly he just got jammed up. So yeah guys, so I was uh, next to the blue barrels, right? And uh, my propeller drive just got stuck on the net. Literally uh, got caught in one of the the drift nets, you know, uh, stopped me right, literally right on the, <laughs> literally right on my tracks, you know, in my tracks, you know, I, I can't, yeah, I know, man, so, it was uh, pretty scary, pretty scary, man, you know, you got stopped, Don't use nets. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, on this lead, lead line, so yeah man, so please, if you want to do drift net, put it outside the blue barrels. You know, they are... That's one of the reasons why we actually saw a person doing drift net here. I think last week or so. We have footage of that. 
going to have to report that to rele relevant authorities, you know, because in, within these blue barrels, there are a lot of people doing active sports, you know, kayaking and stuff. Just imagine if he was a kayaker, got a leg entangled. Imagine he was a swimmer, man. Yeah, he got a leg entangled in there and then he drowns, you know. Uh, luckily, this time around, it was on my propel. Uh, so, this is a harsh reality that that's what people do, la, right? So, stay calm. Uh, try not to take out the aggression on the letter. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, Record just, it yeah, just, it. yeah, don't just, cause yeah, just let the relevant authorities do it, you know. Uh, and then, uh, hopefully, all will be better in time to come, la. So, yeah. Out and about. Quite a very messy looking structure. Okay, so my pawn is spinning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, break the, the back of the tail. Uh, just break it off. That will eliminate the spin. Okay, so hopefully you guys learn something new. So that's what I do. I want to eliminate the spin. I'm here to make a point that we're going to catch some fishes. <laughs> yeah, man, let's go. Fishes are here. I don't really have a big fish. Big fish. Oh, I fish on. Small fish. What fish is it? Is it on? Is it still on? Yes. So, oh, the medium, small, span, uh, medium. Small, small. So, getting small little bites from this one. Yeah, man. Snuck, got it right. Snuck at the side. Small emperor, releasing it. <laughs> Super fast. Man. Current is turning, so maybe the fish will start biting. Huh? Don't let it be you. Oh, it's a flathead. Yes, sir. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> First fish of the day. Oh, more like second fish of the day. This a flathead. It's too small. So we're going to release it. Hey. Successfully released. Yes, sir. So the fishes are here. So you're gonna catch one more. Let's go, man. Fish on. Yep. Decent. Let's see. Let me go, let me go. Wow, nice. Nice fish, my bro. That's it, that's it. 
Being Don, he likes to pull out all the unexpected catches. So, I'm not sure how he managed to pull this up. He had a, okay, look at that, man. That's a freaking coral trout at Pasir Ris. <laughs> Good. What have you got to say, man? Uh, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, bro. <laughs> For those who fish here, you will know that it's, Pasir Ris is a... Uh, <laughs> Why cannot It's it's big one, You know, for those who fish here, normally you know Pasir Ris is uh, pretty much uh, sandy and stuff, right? So you get maybe like the snappers, or you get like uh, uh, barramundis, or if you have groupers, you normally for the longest time I fish here, I catch like maybe the orange spotted groupers are pretty common. Hardly you find any hybrids around here. But for a coral trout to be here, that is super rare la. Just super, super rare. So nonetheless, good fun, good fun. Okay guys, so we're gonna call it a day. You know, it's been an awesome morning as you can see. The weather is awesome. Uh, we almost didn't uh, hit up today due to the uh, rain last night. Uh, and all the, all the strong winds this morning on the west side of Singapore. I thought it was going to be super wet and gloomy today but nonetheless we decided to come out. Uh, fishing wasn't that all fantastic but the company was awesome. Uh, we caught a couple of small fishes here and there so it was good fun. Uh, Kenji caught the biggest one which is a very nice size Freedom Jack. This is about that size. Uh, on a BFS setup, right? And Dawn surprised us all with a coral trout on the sandy plains of Pasir Ris. So how did that happen? I have no idea. Okay. Thank you guys for all the support so far. Ching. And stay tuned to the next episode of Yakutek Reloaded. See you guys next week. Goodbye.